contouring or anything today. Once again, I'm just home with my babies and I just don't want to scare the mailman when he comes to drop off my stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my bathroom upstairs. I've had a lot of questions on like my go-to makeup products, just being a stay-at-home mom that doesn't have a lot of time to get ready. And so I thought it'd be fun today. I have some filming to do, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna set up my camera in my bathroom on my toilet, and I'm just gonna show you guys the products that I use, kind of what I do on a daily basis. Now, I'm not doing my eyeshadow. I'm not doing contouring or anything crazy today. This is literally what I do on the everyday being a stay-at-home mom. These products are easy to work with. They're not a lot of fuss. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Thumbs up if you like videos like this. Comment down below and share with me some of your favorite go-to products because Lord knows I'm always looking for stuff that is high quality, that is easy, easy for me to work with and um, that'll make my life a lot easier and make makeup more enjoyable when I'm putting it on. All right guys, so the first thing that I use, well I put a moisturizer on and I use the Miracle Uplifting Cool and Cooling Moisturizer from Philosophy and I'm obsessed. It's it's amazing. But I am gonna start with the Naked Skin One and Done. This is just a skin perfecter. It's I wouldn't even say it's like a BB cream. It has less coverage than that. You'll see what it does to my skin. Like it really, really just makes it look perfected. And I'm just gonna do it with my hand because this is not even, I mean this is not even like a foundation that I'd have to blend in. It really just smooths out everything in my face. And I am looking in the viewfinder while I'm doing makeup. So if I'm looking above you, that's why because I'm just sitting on my bathroom floor. John's got the kids and I had to do my makeup for some videos, so I figured I'm gonna just do it for you guys. All right, one thing I am is I do feel like I'm kind of a concealer snob. Um, I love the finish of the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. I don't know, it just looks very nice and natural. But I love the coverage of the Kat Von D concealer and I love the Naked Skin color correcting fluid in like the pink shade for underneath your eyes. So basically this is what I've been doing and this is maybe a little excessive for you guys but this is in the color Warm from Kat Von D and I am just going to put a couple things underneath my eyes and this stuff is super concentrated so a little bit goes a long way and then I'm going to take my Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in pink and what this is going to do is this is going to take care of all of those baggy dark under eye stuff that I got going on and then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I always heard the hype about the beauty blenders, you guys, and I was just like, I don't get it, I don't get it. And um, now I get it, because I don't even use brushes anymore. It just looks so natural. So as you guys can see, it just kind of like brightens up my under eye. Then I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Concealer, and this is gonna kind of go as, like I don't do like an all over foundation on my face because I don't feel like at this stage in my life I need that. There will probably be a day when I do need a full coverage foundation, but I don't need that right now, so I don't wanna put it all over my face. But I will take a concealer that is very natural, has a natural finish and matches my skin tone, and I will just go in with a beauty blender and just buff it in. And I like the Born This Way concealer because as you can see, like it just has a very natural finish. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look matte, it just looks like my skin. As you can see, it just kind of like my skin just looks more awake and alive. I am gonna go in with a little bit more of the Kat Von D and I'm just gonna put it in with my finger because I think the Beauty Blender took away some of the some of the concealing powder power of that. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of dab that underneath my eyes. I might go in and just bring the concealer out more on the tops of my cheekbones just so that it really does brighten up my face. All right, so I am gonna set underneath my eyes. I never used to do this, um, and I never heard about it until watching YouTube videos, but underneath my eyes, my concealer would always crease, and it would be gone, and I would be, you know, rubbing it away halfway during the day. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. This is an under eye brightening powder, and I think it's like three bucks, you guys, and I feel like it's just as good as a Laura Mercier under eye secret brightening powder which is like way more way more expensive like let's not even compare I'm not taking a ton I'm just taking a little bit and this is a brush from Real Techniques super affordable I just got it from Ulta this is their I think this is it this is their setting brush and it's perfect it's a perfect size for setting underneath your eyes and now depending on like what I'm doing during the day 
I might take like a translucent setting powder and just put it all over my face because I normally do have oily skin. Um, but honestly today I'm not really caring. We're just hanging out at home. And so I just want a little bit of color and I just want something to spruce me up a little bit. And this is the Paint Pot in Soft Ochre from MAC. And honestly like I've had this for so long and I feel like I've not even, I've not even made a dent in it. Um, and basically I'm just going to put this over my eyelids today. On a normal day I've got my kids and I just don't have the time. It's not gonna crease, it's just gonna kind of cover up and kind of brighten my eyes a little bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this Too Faced Sun Bunny. This is the deluxe sample. I do have the full size that I went and purchased because I'm obsessed with this. This is a bronzer, and I love this bronzer because it is so natural looking. This color of this bronzer is so, so beautiful. It's not too shimmery by any means. You'll see as I put it on. It just gives like, such a nice natural color to my face. And honestly, I'm just warming my face up. I'm not doing anything crazy to this. Um, I'm not contouring or anything today. Once again, I'm just home with my babies and I just don't wanna scare the mailman when he comes to drop off my stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then I'm gonna take um, this blush. This is my NARS Lovejoy blush. And I specifically like this for the fall because it's such a nice rosy, brown color. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? This is like my favorite blush ever. And this is the Morphe E4 brush. This is the contouring brush, but I use it for my blush brush. Thank you very much, Jaclyn Hill, because girl, you always got the best recommendations. It's not anything crazy. It looks very natural. It's so neutral for fall. And if I'm feeling a little fancy, I might put a little bit more. I feel like my blush is always the first thing to go on my face. Thumbs up if you guys can feel me on that. Then I'm gonna go in with Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. You guys, I used to be a chronic mascara purchaser back in the day. I would go through so many different mascaras. I'd go to the drugstore. I would try purchasing a ton of them and they would always let me down. And then I tried this and I was like, I'm done. I never need another mascara. I didn't even curl them. Nothing. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So I'm going to put a little bit more blush on because I'm a little bit of a... I'm a little bit of a blush junkie. I have tried so many setting sprays, you guys, and my favorite is this Maybelline setting spray. It is inexpensive, it is probably filled with chemicals, I just, I don't even wanna know. I feel like it leaves a dewy finish on my skin, but it sets my makeup, it's inexpensive. I feel like some people think a setting spray is excessive, but for me, I feel like it really sets my makeup, and it's not even just about the staying power, it takes care of like the powdery look. If I have anything on my face that looks powdery, this takes care of it. Um, I don't need any kind of highlight today because my NARS, I feel like has a little, has enough of a sheen to it that I don't wanna add too much of a highlight. Because I do have some texture on my cheeks, I don't like to go crazy with the highlight anymore because I really feel like it accentuates it. And I'm gonna take this Tarte lipstick. This is their Park Ave Princess Lipstick, the Amazonian Butter Lipstick. And I love this, you guys, because it is like a sheer lipstick that's moisturizing, but it adds a little bit of a nude color. Oh, and it smells like mint. It almost, like you almost can't even tell I have it on. But it's just enough to give my face a little something, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, so that is my kind of go-to look every day for just being a stay-at-home mom and taking care of my kids and running errands. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe to me, stick around, we can get to know each other a little bit better. I hope that you guys have a good day and you're all blessed and I'll see you next time, bye. It's nothing ever really like super gourmet, but it tastes good, you know? That's life. And I, and I like With little kids. nothing. You like nothing? And half the time my kids don't even eat it, so it doesn't even matter, you know what I'm saying?